Hey, welcome back to Harry of All Trades. Um, just recently for Father's Day, I just received this new GoPro camera, and it, and it came with the with the flex clamp stand that you can see. Uh, one of the things I want to do with it is be able to record uh, backgammon games, and so the idea is I can go back and uh, analyze them and study them. Now, with this camera, you know, when I have it mounted on the side of the board, it does a pretty good job of capturing everything, with one exception. You know, if you're familiar with the game, um, you know down through the middle of the board is what they call the bar and based on the angle of the camera it can't see the first point just on the other side of the bar it's you know the bars I think on my board is maybe like about two inches tall and so I need something to be able to uh, elevate the camera a little higher to get a, a, uh, a better angle now I have some uh, leftover steel from another project and I want to going to try to do is I'm going to take, uh, take that steel and uh, may bend it and turn it into a, a simple stand that I can at least get the, the flex clamp to grab onto. Alright, in order to make my stand, I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to heat this up with my little propane oxygen uh, setup. I'm just going to just heat up a little section right here uh, until it gets like a little red hat and then just use kind of like a flat surface and I'm just going to just, just bang it out to make a 90 degree angle. So, so what I'm going to do is so my trusty, trusty hammer, so once I heat it up, it's just, like a, just like a big old, like a blacksmith, just going to just hit it until it's in shape. So what we're going to get our oxygen going.
about your hand. This does get a little, get a little warm. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get my angle grinder. I'm just gonna just just cut it right, just cut it off right about here. for a four and a half incher.
So there you go. I got a camera stand. So, the, so my board will just go over on this part, pull this part out, and then I can just clip my GoPro here or here. And the GoPro's really not that heavy, so it should be able to hold it up without having it fall over. If it's if a big enough camera, probably enough to lift this, lift this up and tip it, even though something's right on top of it. So we'll give it a try. Here in this picture, you can kind of see the final product. Um, I have the flex clamp clamped to the very top of my little stand, and then and then the stand's being not necessarily held up, but it is kind of secured by the weight of the board. Now, if I took the board off, um, the way I have it set up, it actually is balanced, and it won't and it won't fall down. Now, after you tip it, you know, give it a little bump, it will fall over. With the board on top of it. Um, it's able to take quite a, a bit of a bump, and it, it'll stay uh, fairly secure. Um, after watching a little bit of test footage on it, um, it doesn't really shake that much. So I'm I'm pretty happy on, on on how this turned out. Here you can see in the in the footage I took from my last uh, um, backgammon tournament at my uh, local club, and so you can see how. How great of a view it gets! I mean, it captures everything, and it's uh, very cri uh, picture's pretty crisp. It gets a nice, good wide angle. I can see practically uh, everywhere on the board. Some other um, setups I've seen, um, or I've you know played at some bigger tournaments. People will have like some kind of a camcorder hooked up on a tripod, and it's and it takes up so much space. Where this is like, you know, I, I can have somebody um, you know playing right to my left. And they're bored up already against mine, and, and it won't interfere. So it's like it takes up like zero space. And with the GoPro, with the nice wide angle, like it's like I barely even have to aim. I just kind of know. It's like just slap it on the side of my board, and I just know it's going to grab the whole board. So I'm kind of happy how it turned out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back.